Hi everybody. I wanted to give you a quick tour of our Icon Pro Icon Maker, which is um, able to make custom icons for anything. Your app, your website, print media, anything you need, special icons for or uh, graphic assets that have symbols. We can use this free tool in order to build it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start making uh, some buttons for a project that we're working on. Let's get some social buttons created and style them to match our website. First of all, I searched the icon library. I typed in social and uh, it can hit the search button or hit return. And I'm going to get a list here of social icons that are available. I'll pick a couple here, make sure that um, yeah, these start these these look good. We've got a Facebook icon, we've got a Twitter icon. Um, we'll do a WhatsApp icon, and what else should we do? Um, how about maybe a Instagram icon? Great. Now you'll notice they've been added to our little workspace area. So this area is where uh, the icons in our icon group are going to be built and styled. I'm gonna go ahead and style these and make them a little bit bigger, about 150 pixels high, 150 pixels wide. And then let's go in and um, we can actually modify by clicking on them. We can move these up uh, or down as needed. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna move those up just a hair. Great. And now for the fun part where we can style these to match the exact colors um, that we want. Um, now you'll notice there's a lot of different backgrounds. If I click up here, backgrounds that are available. So I can start by using a lot of um, interesting pre-made colorings, right? So these all look pretty cool and work pretty well. Um, uh, so there's a bunch of different styles here within our background template. Um, and what I'll do is continue to use the first style that we had. What I want to do is just modify the colors a little bit to match the brand that I'm, I'm working with here. So you'll notice I can adjust the colors within the background gradient and that's going to change the color of these icons. And um, I can type in a hex value or I can go in and change this to um, an RGB or however you want to enter this. If you already have colors that your designers used, um, or that you know of, you can manually input that there. Um, and then let's go, um, let's go grab a couple nice looking colors here. How about this guy, looks pretty good. And then if I click on the right side of the background, I can now adjust the color that the, the other side of the gradient spectrum. So um, let's, let's do a little bit more like this. That looks pretty good. We could adjust the opacity if I wanted to of that particular color to give us a little um, different effect. So that looks really nice. I'm gonna give you a quick demo of what these guys do. The color gradients are really great because so you can basically tell the system, and you'll notice the background uh, color selector bar and the actual icons are being impacted when I move these. So we can see how that impacts the colors, um, I think. A little bit of green at the top, more blue at the bottom. That uh, probably matches what we're trying to do here. Um, I can also change the angle at which this comes in at, depending on how I want these to look. So um, let's do it a little bit like that. That looks pretty cool. Matches what um, what we're working on for our project right now. Anyway, great. So now I can also change the color of the shape. So each one of these symbols that we added, remember the symbols that we've got, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, and Instagram. We change the colors that is being defined there by quickly adjusting, just like we did before. Now remember, we also have the ability to do a gradient within the shape. I'm going to stick with white because I really like just clean white, um, but I do want my shape to stand out a little bit, so I'm going to actually give it a drop shadow. How about a drop shadow more in the gray or black spectrum to give it a little pop? And that is it. We can adjust of the drop shadow a few different things. How the opacity here, so that looks um, about right here. 
Uh, the angle, move it around and give it a little, let's match where our shadow is. So it's gonna be on the bottom, good. And distance and size, those are also easy to adjust if we want a bigger or smaller um, uh, shadow to actually be drawn for, for our project. So um, that's it. I've created really nicely styled social media icons. I'm gonna save those to my account. This is uh, for my project, social media icons, and I save it. And now I can at any time go in and retrieve those, edit them, modify them as needed. Um, that is exactly what I wanted to do. Um, if I click on my icons, I'd see a list of all of the saved icons I've got. I can also share these with anyone I want. Um, so uh, either I can share it through Facebook, Twitter, um, I can also grab this link here that would give um, someone a uh, visual of what my icons look like. Quickly be able to say, hey, how do these look? I, I just made these super fast on Icon Pro. Um, finally, I can download these. We can grab these as JPEGs, SVGs, or PDFs. What it's gonna do is zip up um, each one of those. So uh, all four of these icons would be uh, in an, say, an SVG format, zipped and downloaded to your computer immediately. So um, super easy to use. I think uh, it, this is really a game changer for those of us who are making websites or apps, and we are not natural born graphic designers, but we want to look like we are. Um, and this is a wonderful free tool for making icons that will hopefully save you and your team uh, a lot of time and, um, and also give your, your products, whether that's uh, apps or, or um, websites, a more beautiful, professional, uh, uniformly styled look and feel. So anyway, try it out, totally free, Icon Pro. It's available at iconpro.io. And uh, you can you can use it all you want. Uh, go go grab it. Go go test it out. Uh, shoot us a message, and um, we'll see you next time right here. Thank you very much. Bye bye.